Hey guys, welcome. We are doing Because, one of the most hauntingly beautiful songs ever written. And it sounds like Moonlight Sonata, so I looked it up and it looks like John Lennon was laying on his couch listening to a little Beethoven Moonlight Sonata and was like, hey, that sounds pretty sweet. Let me uh, put those chords backwards. I wonder what that chord progression would look like. So uh, technically he wrote it because he changed up the chords. Um, so no, he changed it a little bit and uh, this is where he got the inspiration from. So um, it starts here in C sharp minor. There's some really interesting chord progressions that normally the Beatles wouldn't do uh, because it is inspired by Beethoven. So uh, there will be a few weird chords, but I'll break it down for you. So here we are in C sharp minor. Um, and we're, it's all gonna be arpeggios. So I'm gonna go through the chords first and then I'll break down the arpeggios. We're in C sharp minor and we're just gonna hold this. Then we're doing this chord. And that is D sharp minor flat five. So here we are on sixth fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, sixth fret on the G string, and fourth fret on the B string. And we're just gonna, and then we'll move this up on the last one. So seventh fret, then hit the fourth after that. Then we're going to G sharp major and slide up to A, back to C sharp, and back to A. We'll do a uh, A7, and you bring that 7 down to A13. So what's an A13? It's 5th fret, 6th fret, 7th fret, like that, and then with A in the bass. So you can kind of do it like that. It's a seven and then 13, you just bring it down. And then D, but we'll put the third in the bass, so it sounds like this. And then D diminish. So it's open, first fret, third fret, second, then first. Have your finger on all the ones so you can just lift off of that two. The two, and then the lift off. So that's all the chords. I just went through them for you, and I know it's a lot, but bear with me, we'll break it down. Here we go, at the very beginning, we're in C sharp minor. So we're just gonna do some arpeggios. Then we're gonna switch these fingers. Actually, it's super easy if you're doing C-sharp minor. Basically, you're gonna move this finger just down the string and lift up on the middle finger. So that's that, and then this is the next chord. G-sharp, A, C-sharp, do A7, So it's a beautiful progression, and uh, I think what um, Lennon does is he adds the seventh fret on this A string a lot. So at the very intro, he'll be like. And then, see how he just throws it in there? It just kind of adds a moving element. Um, but it's such a beautiful song, and uh, man. Hope you impress some people with this one. So good luck, guys. I know it's hard, but I know you can do it. You guys tell me you can do it all the time. So come on. I believe in you. All right, guys. Enjoy. Hey, thanks for watching. To learn how to play more Abbey Road on guitar, check out these videos. And also, if you want more videos, check out mahalo.com slash play guitar.